If you feel lonely and you find yourself chasing a relationship or you feel like it's something you need to heal from and you're chasing a relationship to heal, I'm telling you, it's not a good idea. A relationship or anything for that matter will not fix anything that you're not willing to fix. If you feel lonely and you're not willing to be in the room with yourself and lock yourself inside of yourself and learn yourself and grow, nothing is going to fix that. If you have traumas and things you have not moved on from and you're not willing to face those things instead of running away from them, being in a relationship will not fix those things. A relationship does a very good job at amplifying things. If you're a happy person and you get in a good relationship, you will exude a happiness like you've never seen. If things are miserable in your life and you get in a miserable uh, relationship, it will amplify those things. It just has a way of doing those things. It's just like money. If you know if a nerd gets money, he's going to be a rich nerd. If a gangster gets rich, he's going to be a rich gangster. You really don't change in that sense. But you have to have the courage your strength and the patience to sit there with yourself and deal with whatever it is that you have going on. I have been around people who will literally not spend a day alone. And I don't know how they pulled it off. I'm talking about we'll have a boyfriend for three weeks. They break up the next day. You know, they have a boyfriend. Then they have a boyfriend for three years, break up the next day, they have a boyfriend. And I got curious one time and I asked like, you know, I don't even remember the way I put it, but it was like, what, like, what is your philosophy behind, you know, not spending time with yourself? And I remember this person told me that she was like, I believe that people should be together to heal with each other. I don't think we should be alone and heal on our own. When I heard that, I was like, I mean, to each is their own, but how can you build a philosophy to where you have to depend on someone to heal you someone who doesn't know what you've been through to no extent you know other than what you tell them but it's literally you you're depending on somebody to make you feel better and to help you heal but you don't have the courage the patience and compassion for yourself to sit with yourself and heal and those people they wonder why their relationships are in shambles, their lives are in shambles, while their minds are in shambles, because you're not working on nothing. You're just running away from everything. And eventually these problems in our life, they snowball. And if you took a little snowball and rolled it down the hill, it's going to start this big and then it's going to get this big and this big and this big to the point where it crushes you because you keep running away from it. <clears throat> and I'm not just speaking, you know, from the outside looking in. I have done these things, too. I have felt very lonely and I have went through things and didn't want to face things and I ran away from things. And I thought that aligning myself with people would help these things and to no avail, you know, it didn't work. Right. So then I actually did get in a relationship and I'm going I'm to spend I'm going to spend these time frames to kind of make make it make sense. Right. So I got in this relationship feeling lonely. And when I was in this relationship, I felt less lonely. But I have never felt more, um, how can I put it? Like right now in this time frame, I feel the least amount of loneliness I've ever felt in my life. But on a day to day, I spend the most time with myself, right? But I say that to spin it back to this relationship. The relationship that I was in, I've never been with somebody, been around someone who made me feel you know the least amount of loneliness you know like when we spent almost every day together we did a lot of things together we was just always around each other right until things start really weighing on me because i wasn't you know i wasn't growing and cultivating myself i wasn't looking within i wasn't fixing myself and i see many people say you know comment or just tell me i feel so lonely i want a relationship and i want to do this i want to do that but i'm telling you as good as I felt in those times, as good as I thought things were going, which they were, you still are going to be locked in a room with yourself one day. And if you don't fix yourself, you're going to hate yourself. You're going to despise yourself. And every time you look in the mirror, you're not going to like what you see. And that's, that's just what it is. So you have to take that time to fix yourself. And I'm not telling you that you have to be perfect before you go find a companion. 
I'm not telling you that your life has to be sunshine, rainbows, and golden chandeliers before you go get your girlfriend or, you know, a partner. I'm not telling you that. Because when I met my people, I was not perfect and I'm not perfect today. But I will tell you, you have to take a step towards building yourself and working on yourself and walking down that road of your own before you need to do anything. Because if you don't, it's going to be corrupt. And we don't hope that these relationships and things like that end in a bad way. But if they ever do end, end or in a bad way, good or bad, if you are dependent on somebody for anything and you are cut off from that, you are going to be in shambles. Just imagine if you got with somebody and they said, hey, I don't want you to work a day in your life. And I've, I've been around people who actually done this in manipulative ways. They wanted a person, they built up a little money, and they told this person, hey, I want you to start working, right? And then when they bring in this money, they basically hold it over this person's head like a little doggy bag and tell them, well, you can't go to work because you're broken, you don't have money, and I make all the money, right? So imagine if you was with somebody and told you, hey, stop working. I want you to just live off my money. And you did that, and things were good. And then you tell everybody, I don't have to make my own money because, you know, my partner does. And then your partner says, kick rocks one day. What do you have? Nothing. You know, and they, they find ways to make you burn bridges with all the people that would have helped you. But bottom line, you didn't help yourself because you depended on somebody. So if you're dependent on somebody for happiness, if you're dependent on somebody to make you feel less lonely, to make you feel loved, and they snatch that away from you, you're going to be sick. And you have to be very careful, even when you work on yourself, not to allow people to, you know, make you feel like that. Some people will do these things and, you know, they, they know who they're dealing with. They know they're dealing with very vulnerable people. And you'll get around people, you'll see it, and you'll hear people say things like, I really need you in my life and I don't know what I would do without you and blah, 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 blah. And like, I, I can't have you leave me, all these things. And people will use that against you. People will use that against, you know, those people, those vulnerable people. But you have to, you have to know that's, that's a dangerous game to play bottom line you got to work on you there's nothing from the outside that can heal what's inside that's just what it is you got to heal from the inside out because if you think just painting over it or putting a little band-aid over it is going to fix it I'm telling you you're going to get infected my friend you are gonna get infected Every time that I went through the worst of the worst, I'm going to just say most of the time, that I went through the worst of the worst when it came to depending on people for things like that. <clears throat> it was because I just, I fooled myself. I fooled myself. I put myself in this mind frame that these people are perfect and they're special. And they are. They are to their own degree. And they are because your eyes, your heart, your mind, your emotions, you are what make people special. The same girl that you were crushing on X amount of years ago, you can walk by her right now today and don't say anything to her. You might not even feel anything. Sometimes we do. But it's your eyes, it's your heart that makes things special, right? So we get so caught up on these people and we get so caught up on these relationships and the images of these things and it just makes you want to do irrational things and I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm going to head over the hills type of guy, you know? And it's like no amount of work can fix that part of you. But you just have to be careful and work on self, be able to come back to self. Because believe it or not, if you want to live a life and you never want to get hurt, you might as well die right now. You might as well die because you're always going to get hurt if you try. And what's life without trying? What's life without living? You know what I mean? So, bottom line, take care of self. Make sure you have a solid foundation within yourself. And just find a way to stop depending on people. Find a way to love yourself. Find a way to be able to sit alone and be comfortable with yourself. And understand that you really don't, you don't need anybody. You know what I mean? And I'm, bro, look, let me tell y'all something too. You always got to explain because you got ignorant people that just hear one thing and they comment with their emotions. 
I love people. I love to be around people. I love to interact with people. And I would, you know, I wouldn't want to live a life where I just didn't talk to anybody or didn't, you know what I mean, have relations with anybody. I'm not saying that. But I'm telling you, you better align with numero uno. Because when you roll over in that casket, mommy not coming with you, daddy not coming with you, the girl you scared to talk to not coming with you, the people you want to be your friends but you scared to talk to them, they won't. The people that talk about you and you won't speak up for yourself, they not coming with you. Nobody's coming with you. It is you. When you are at your lowest of lows and you're locked in your head and nobody understands why you feel the way you feel. When you're so tired that sleep doesn't even fix your tiredness. Who is with you? You. When you feel those things that not even you can explain. And then when people ask you what's wrong, you just say nothing because you don't even know what's wrong with you. Who's the only one there with you? You. So if that's so, why would you fool yourself? into thinking that you need someone else to fix you or that someone else or something else can fix you but I'm here to tell you there's nothing wrong with you you're human but you have to accept that and you have to learn the nature of being a human We are here to adapt and survive and thrive because that's just who we are and what we do. So my people, I love you. Make sure you uh, look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you love yourself and believe it. And just continue to fight for yourself. Continue to fight for the people you love and the people around you, but always better yourself. If you're better for yourself, you can be better for your tribe. You know? So, appreciate y'all. It's always a nice talk. And we'll talk soon.